What's up, guys? We're back again for another Marvel Puzzle Quest video. All right, so we have a uh, new character. We got five star King the Conqueror here. No, five star and three star. Um, I don't know if three stars on this one. No, no, but it shows the release schedule, which is cool. Okay, so they got the movie version of Kang the Conqueror. Not that different from the comic book version. Um, my opinion, I like the comic book version better. I, I don't know why. Um, it may be the new, maybe the new version in the movies needs to stay in the movie. I don't know. But uh, they both look they both look cool nonetheless. So new character Kang. Kang the Conqueror. Okay, so let's get into this. Um So five star rarity, affiliations, villains, technologists, time displaced. So you'll be able to use him with four star Iceman as a tank. Which is crazy. That's weird, because X four star Iceman, the new update that he got. You can use time displaced and X-Men characters to take 25% less damage. So that right off the rip, that's just pretty cool. Um, multiversal cosmic geniuses. I remember in the first year or second year, for, yeah, the first two years of uh, Marvel Puzzle Quest, people were literally saying that we're never gonna get multiversal or cosmic. I think it was just cosmic. I don't know if it was both of them, but cosmic level characters we were never going to get them in the game because they were too powerful but uh honestly i think if we never got them in the game the game wouldn't be what it is today like the game is so versed like the characters are so versatile it's crazy you know using characters from different you know comic books that have never been paired together it's just it's just insane it's insane where the game's at today um all right so level 450 his health is at seventy thousand. that's 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 like five star Star Lord's updated health, huh? All right, so strongest color at 450 is yellow, which is, I mean, different. Oh no, strongest color is black. Second strongest blue. Third purple, yellow, then green, then red. Okay, so he has a really high match damage for team ups hmm and then as usual the 3.5 for critical tiles it's not that bad all right so conquer six black ap you had a deal the conquer stops at nothing in this universe or any other kang deals 3588 damage to the target so single target nuke damage then if one does not exist create a two turn black countdown tile that deals 886 damage per turn it was on the board so create a two turn black countdown tile that deals 886 damage per turn it was on the field or on the board to the front most ally front most ally when it expires or is destroyed so you're getting damage dealt to your team okay i mean a self-destructive, uh, a self-damaging ability. I, I'm guessing that's there for a reason because, like, this conquer ability just deals massive amounts of damage, like nuke damage. Um, okay, so ally when it expires or is or is destroyed. So if you match it away, it won't deal no damage. Otherwise, adds one turn to the tile. So. You want to just match it away? I mean, it's going to deal damage to you. I mean, I guess that's fair, right? So, max at 450, the damage is going to be, for 6 black AP, 14,000. And then 3,561 damage. Create a 2-turn black countdown tile that deals 886. That deals 3,561 damage per turn. It was on the board to the frontmost ally when it expires or is destroyed so you match it away you don't get no damage taken from you adds one turn to the tile otherwise adds one turn to the tile i mean 
So every turn that it's not matched away or destroyed, it gains one. Like, that's. Like, why would they. <laughs> it's understandable. Six black AP, you're going to be able to one shot like 60% of the four star land characters. 14,000. People are just going to go crazy for this character just from this ability alone, I think. Like, a low costing nuke single target nuke ability from a five star in my opinion is something that i would definitely go for um the damage output is pretty good all right so let's go to level three to level five level three deals 4521 damage to the target three turn cd tile i like i like how they're they're catching on to the lingo um three turn cd tile deals 1063 damage if destroyed Max, you're dealing 18k for 6 AP. 6 black AP. Picture that. 6 black AP for eight, like 18,000 damage. 4,273 damage per uh, for the CD tile. So, level 4, you deals 5,274 damage to the target. Deals 1,240 damage to Kang, max 21,200 damage for 6 AP, that is, that is incredible, um, 4,985 damage, and then level 5, obviously you're going to want this at level 5, I don't care if it de deals that much damage to Kang the Conqueror, whoever I'm using, just use it, use him with like Chasm, and I know Chasm removes AP from you and your opponent passively but still like six AP two matches one cascade one crit match like one crit match you're gonna be dealing 6781 damage to the target all right so deals 1595 damage to Kang so max you're gonna be dealing 27,000 to the target and then 6410 damage let's just say to Kang so you activate it two times that's that's 80 percent of most of the four stars health right that's 40 that's 50 something let's just say that's like 53,000 health or 54,000 health you're do, you're dealing to somebody with 12 black ap if they would have made this 12 black ap they would have took they would have taken the damage they would have like lowered this and just left this at minimum 54,000 that's crazy. That's just crazy. I'm going to put that at 5. I don't care. <laughs> the damage is just too good. The damage is way too good. I'm sorry. Alright, so Realm Shift, 9 blue AP. Let's skip over this. Let's skip over this. Okay, so... Creating a 2-turn fortified blue countdown tile. While this tile exists, the target is away. So, we're going to do it like a Wong Sorcerer Supreme type deal where they go away. A new mechanic. Um, the target is away. When the target returns, they take 532 damage for each turn they were away. So, I'm guessing he is a self-inflicting... He's basically a sentry or carnage to the game now. They just added another one. Um... 45 cannon tile is this. The target is away. When the target returns, they take 532 damage for each turn they were away. Max 2137 damage. I mean, is it like a protection ability? Like maybe like vultures or something? Alright, so the passive at the start of his turn. Kang's team regains any AP lost from destroy or steal effects. What? At the start of his turn, Kang's team regains any AP lost from destroy or steal effects. If all of Kang's opponents are downed or away, he wins the battle. Oh my god. New win mechanic? 
Okay, so he counters Wong. And basically any further characters they add to the game that have the away ability. So new win mechanic? Crazy. Okay, so... Let's see. Uh, just target another realm. Creating a two-turn fortified blue countdown tile. While this tile exists, the target is away. So you send the enemy away. Uh, they take 532 damage for each turn they were away. Max 2,000 damage. It, it doesn't specify you or the enemy. It just says target. So you, I'm, I'm assuming you get a target the enemy because of the new win mechanic on his passive. So you just 9, 18, 18, 18, 19, 22, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10. So you need 27 blue AP and you win the game. Assuming this is how this ability works, because it doesn't it doesn't specify you or the enemy, it just says target. Count on top while this tile exists, the target is away. So the target has to be Kang? This is too easy. 27 blue AP and you win the game. Just get a blue generator. Bishop with his yellow. Iceman. No, Iceman does purple? No, it is blue. Yeah, for stun. Um, that's... You can, Vulture, for instance? That's crazy. New win mechanic, hello? Alright, so level 3 to level 5. Create a 3 turn countdown tile. At level 4. Target takes 622 damage. Max 2,500 damage. Um, level 5, create... Creates a four turn blue countdown tile. So, to uh, while this tile exists, target is away. Okay, so you want this at level five if it's targeting the enemy team. 27 blue AP. Activate this three times. And you win. You literally manipulate the game in your favor no matter what. Even if you don't want to win by this mechanic. That is. That's. I just. Then I didn't expect this to be a new mechanic in the game. A new win mechanic, nonetheless. That's wild. I'm putting that at five. I'm sorry. If it targets like we're gonna have to play test him when he when he releases. Like crazy. Crazy. Alright, so Kang is okay, so cosmic tac uh, tactician, a six purple AP. So Kang is cunning, is a cunning tactician. All right, let's just skip skip over this. Uh, yada yada. Okay, uh, every step forward is a step back for you. Okay, he adds one turn to the duration of all count on tiles. Then deals two uh, two hundred and thirty nine damage for each turn remaining among all count on tiles. And two hundred and thirty nine damage for each enemy strike attack or projectile. Then deals 239 damage for each turn remaining among all count on tiles, even the enemies. One, one turn to the duration of all count on tiles. Yo, Kang is a beast. What a monster. That's crazy, man. I, I'm just really excited about um, Realm Shift, so... Uh, yeah, <laughs> I just still can't fathom that that's that's a new win mechanic. That's crazy um, So basically Wong gets countered Like I, yeah, it's insane. I'm gonna have to champ all like I'm gonna have to champ them. I'm sorry like King the Conqueror is the beast. All right, so uh, Let's see Cannon tile and 239 damage for each enemy strike attack or projectile. So he just He's just a uh, Jack of all trades. Okay, so uh, his passive. Wait, did this one have a passive? No, it didn't. Okay, so his abilities are all short and sweet, which is perfect. His passive is your plans might just be his plans. Whenever an opponent creates a count on tile, add one turn to its duration. This could be a bad thing or a good thing, in my opinion. It really could be, you know. Whenever a count on tile is destroyed, Kang gains one blue AP. Oh, so... He feeds himself. So just basically get a blue feeder. 
like honestly just use him with iron man model 40 iron man model 40 is yellow and he's a three star he just generates he'll have you with like 12 blue ap right off the rip and you just activate cosmic tactician and it's ggs 27 blue ap and you win the match new win mechanic i, I would love to see somebody do that <laughs> i'm gonna try to do that dude oh my god okay so um basically pair him with any blue generating battery in the game whether it be hulkbuster or not not hulkbuster um iron man model 40 vulture mystique three star like this is wild all right so uh kang the count on tile is destroyed kang gains one blue ap another character you can pair him with kind of tile is destroyed oh no because they're not destroyed they just go off never mind i was gonna say sentry but yeah, he, he doesn't... Those don't go off. I mean, you can pair him with Sentry. He could increase their um, duration. And you could just match them away. Because that's a lot of counting tiles on the board. And you're just going to generate free blue AP with him. We, we, we've got a lot of testing to do. Um, as for 5-star meta, I don't know yet. Maybe... Green Goblin. I don't know. Um, so, level 3 to level 5. Level 3 deals 287 damage 287 damage max 1153 1153 so uh duration of all he increases the duration he adds one turn to the counter tiles and he deals 239 damage for each turn remaining among all counting on tiles so maybe you can pair him with the sentry and deal crazy amounts of damage because sentry uses green and his green is six turns or is uh six ap and he throws out that massive amount of uh cd tiles Assuming that your CD tiles deal damage to the enemy team from this ability. Um, he adds one turn to the duration of all count on tiles. Then deals 239 damage for each turn remaining among all count on tiles. And 239 damage for each enemy strike attacker. So he's just a damage dealing like killmonger. It's crazy. Your plans might just be uh his plans I already read this oh so count on tile creates a whenever an opponent creates a count on tile add one turn to its duration whenever a count on tile is destroyed it doesn't say yours or his or your teams it doesn't say your teams or the enemy teams it just says when when a count on tile is destroyed kane gains one blue ap so destroyed being meaning like matched away or Actually destroyed destroyed hmm very interesting another thing is I want to know if the sentries counter tiles will actually count towards the damage from cosmic tactician this purple ability to the enemy team and if it does then that's a lot of damage for six purple six green AP not counting the damage that whatever count countdown tiles are left from the sentries uh, world rapture i think that's no that's his red i think um i might be mistaken his red or his uh green but uh his green the damage that those deal whatever count on tiles are left if being matched away means you know counts as being destroyed as well that's broken if not then it's not as broken but it's going to be dealing a lot of damage so level three to level level five level three is 1153 to 1153 um level four you deal let's see cannon tile let's see he adds one turn to the duration of all cannon tiles and you deal 1345 damage to the enemy it doesn't specify but you know obviously it's going to be the enemy not you and then uh for each turn remaining among all cannon tiles and Let's see, then deal soon for each turn remaining among all count on tiles. That's 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 crazy. So you're gonna be getting a lot of damage dealt. Um and 239 damage for each enemy uh, strike attack and protect tile. So you can just have a mixture of sap tiles and count on tiles. I can't wait for them to come out with a character that does the same thing like this to you know obviously different text to like um, repeater tiles or fortified tiles. It's gonna be insane. Um, and then you're dealing 1,730 damage for each enemy strike, attack, or protectile. So 
Beta Ray Bill Polaris counter, I mean, they're not really a problem anymore. I mean, if you use them, they're still good, but like on defensive, they're not really a problem. Um, so, you know, so, so much. But, uh, Saptile Creators, this is just a new win mechanic, and, and I, like, I feel like it's just gonna be an easy climb with them. You just gotta get 27 blue AP and you win. And there's multiple ways to do that. PvP Simulator, you're gonna use Iron Man Model 40 for his yellow, and Vulture with his black, and just generate blue AP. Right? Just right off the rip. You're going to activate this, send them away, activate it, send them away, activate it, send them away. By the time the fourth, by the time you activate it the third time, the enemy is going to have one of the characters with one turn left and you win the game. It's like, there's just so many ways to generate blue AP. It's crazy. Um, and not only that, you're going to be able to tank with Iceman on your team with Kang the Conqueror. That's unreal. Um, the newly updated four star ice man that's crazy that is just that's insane all right featured uh, or feeder updates uh new blue kang classic feeds four star the thing four star thing classic uh four star ghost quantum thief makes sense um they feed five star kang the conqueror and then uh ghost feeds hit monkey that's unchanged okay that's different i don't i don't think ghost feeds hit monkey if she does then ggs i mean i guess <laughs> all right um so in two days he is going to be out we'll be play testing him hopefully on the 12th but, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, man. I mean, if the three-star version is the exact same, which I hope he is, then Kang the Conqueror and Sentry will be pretty good together. That'd be like new three-star meta. But, uh, that's it for the five-star Kang the Conqueror, uh, Kang the Conqueror character view, excuse me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I didn't waste you guys' time. As always... Catch you guys in the next one.